Yes, yeah, a new one. Good morning, guys. First morning at camp here. Dakota's cooking already. Oh. Steak, huh? Yep. Looking good. Guys, the alarm clocks are going off. I'd say that works a little better than a rooster. monkeys make for the best alarm clocks, that's for sure. I'm hoping the camera's picking that up. I don't see how it possibly couldn't, but uh, I'm sure it's not doing it justice, but those are the howler monkeys. Pretty terrifying sounding animals. But they're actually pretty cute. Relatively harmless. They're not upset with us or anything like that. They do that pretty much every morning, even back at Los Buzos. We can often hear them a mile out at sea in the kayaks in the mornings. This is their time to kind of go off. They're loud, really loud. Is there any more coffee? Oh, my man. There is more coffee. Is there more coffee? Yes. In that. There's more coffee at the fire number three back there. Fire number three back there, head chef Dakota Dunmire delivering breakfast in my hand to the sound of howler monkeys. Man, fire number three. What's behind fire number three? They are still going off. There's going to be a tiger in the back. I'm really sorry. I'm calling you an idiot. Sure enough. Well, good morning, ladies and gents. Morning of day one, I guess. Really, yesterday was our first day, but this is our first morning waking up here in paradise. Had the little howler monkey alarm clock. I thought maybe it was just a coincidence that they were down here by camp yesterday. But that's obviously where they hang out at sunset and at sunrise. We saw some toucans this morning. Didn't get a shot of them, but just an absolutely gorgeous morning. Clients are already out on their kayaks. I'm about to be right behind them. Gonna do a little fishing this morning. I hurt my elbow yesterday carrying this thousand pounds of gear we got up this beach. So I probably won't fish all day. I'm probably gonna go out for a nice little morning sesh, come back in, get some lunch, probably do some exploring with Dakota here around camp and up into the mountains behind it, follow this river up. Cannot say enough about this place and about these experiences we're having. That's what life's all about right here. I just got my teeth brushed, coffee drank, Found a spot to go number two. Life is good. <laughs> Feeling like a new man. All right, so we're out here catching bait with the sabiki. We're right in front of the camp and caught this um, pest bobo we call. Pretty cool snout. We use this guy for bait. Where the gill plate meets the jaw. Right there. Look at yeah. that! Yeah. Yeah. Dude, we just got out of here, bro! Skyler from Florida, originally New Jersey. Beautiful rooster fish on his lap. First bait you put out here in Panama, look at that. That's a bite and a half. Oh my god. Yeah, they're strong. They pull some string. Check out my rod. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, you got tip wrapped, huh? Yeah. And oh. Look at this broken rod. Oh my gosh. So I had to hand line it the last oh, like geez. feet. Wow. Hand lined in his first rooster here in the first hour of the trip. There you go. My man. Woohoo! Got it? Got it. Look at that. Broke your rod. You got a good story to tell. There you go. All right. Hey, I'm gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, oh. we're gonna revive this guy and we'll come back and help you get the thing. All right, I'll start on the nest. Yeah. Man, she's fighting good though. Yeah, yeah. Gonna make 
make sure he's nice and alive. All right, look at that, Skyler. First rooster knocked off. We've been out here like 20 minutes. Pretty remarkable, pretty incredible. I got uh, bodes pretty well for today, how today's gonna go. Fucking zap it. Oh yeah. All right. We got blue runners crashing, little glass minnows up here at the surface. These are the candy baits. They've been hard to find the last couple weeks, but they're here, just hundreds, thousands of them. Look at that. Oh no, it is a bonita, you're right. Okay. That's like the exact bait I got my 54 rooster on. Big, big eye trolley like that. There you go. Thanks, sir. Welcome. And you know, with that thing, you don't have to go fast, but you can't kill it. Like, they're super hardy. But just get over a good spot and let it go down. Oh, yeah. John Ferris here is hooked up big. His reel broke. No knob on his reel handle. How deep are you there? I do a rooster, though. Oh, yeah. Big fish. Yeah, don't stress too much. It's coming up in the water column. Yeah, just keep it tight. I think you got a rooster. John Ferris here works at Nautical Ventures, nice dealer, kayak dealer in South Florida. He's got something big on, he's got a broken reel. Well, not a broken reel, a disassembled reel. He's going for style points, bro. You don't want to make it too easy. Just keep it tight. Oh yeah, something heavy, something big. Already got one rooster this morning. We've lost a Kubera, lost something else big. I just had a rooster chasing my popper, swiping at it, but I missed, he missed the hooks. And now John Ferris is hooked up. Hot and heavy this morning, real fishy out here. Let's see if John can capitalize despite the, the real malfunction here. Woo! Oh yeah, digging, digging hard. Oh yeah, ripping off line. I can hear it from here without the clicker. Yeah, buddy, that's a grown up one. John here got a rooster his first trip here, which was three years ago. He's uh, hooked up to something. If I remember right, his rooster wasn't huge. This may be a big upgrade for him. Yeah. <laughs> big boy. Gallo, big Gallo. Yeah, oh, buddy. Man. Monster. That looks like an upgrade, buddy. <laughs> yeah. There. Oh. <laughs> oh man. He ain't quite done yet. Looking for his new PB. Oh, I think you, I think you crushed your PB. Yeah, I think, so. I think, I think that so. crushes it, bro. Hold tight. Two, it's a two-armer. Two-hander. Ah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo yeah, baby. Hell yeah. yeah. The kombu top rooster right there. There it is. We gave him a giant big eye trevally for bait and oh, uh, just turned it into a big old rooster. Beauty. How was that fight? Pretty interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done, bro. Didn't... I don't think I'm gonna be lifting this one over my head. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not an over the header. Did I go 48, anything? Yeah. All day. Yeah, that's trophy, buddy. Trophy class. Beauty, bro. Great work, man. Real malfunction. No problem, he said. Can I put your knees down? Dude. That's a stud, yes. man. <laughs> day one. Pressure's <laughs> off. You got it? There you go. There you go. Beauty. Reviving this girl now. Getting good water on her gills. Oh man, look at that beach. Look at that beauty. Ah. Yeah, man. So Adam caught this nice bola or almaco jack today. Delicious fish. In the States they often have worms down in Florida and stuff, but here they never do. They taste like grouper. Really, really good. I'm gonna flay this guy up. I think we're gonna fry it up for lunch. Boom, one side done. All right, just got back in from a quick little morning fishing session, and it's hot, you guys. 
real hot. So I'm gonna go for a dip. It would be cool that if we had like some inner tubes and tie it off to that, you know? Little daisy chain inner tubes. Mark it up the lazy yeah. river. The lazy river. It goes from here to right there. Oh, 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 oh. We're tight, we're tight. Listen, in the listen, tree. Listen, shoot him, listen, listen, shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> we got a tree shaker. <laughs> <laughs> the right time. He's right here, he's, he's, he sees you. Some kind of blue crawfish in the river. Shrimp, crawfish, some kind of something. Bright blue, crazy looking. This is the life, you guys. We are not roughing it. We are eating good. We got a pool in the backyard. Doesn't feel like I'm camping. I could stay here forever. <laughs> so Adam just found these, we thought they were peppers when they were up in the tree, but he just swam across the river and grabbed one and it's like, yeah, you're good. Some kind of bean or seed, and then here's one that's open. Got this pretty crazy hard black seed. I don't know what that is. It's got something white all over it. <laughs> pretty wild. We're gonna go ahead and not eat that. I don't know what that is. If anyone knows what that is, let us know in the comments. And then we also found these things. Just some kind of spongy white stuff in the middle, and we've been we've been playing fetch. Did you go up? Not catch, just fetch. <laughs> So we just gathered up enough wood for the rest of the day. We got the fire going again, got it nice and hot. Got Adam here cutting up some sashimi. <laughs> Part of the 50 pound tuna. It's like butter. Hey, I, I had a piece of you, but don't mind if I do. <laughs> It's really good, and there's soy there if you want to. Oh, wow. I don't have a ramekin for you, you can just... A little dollop of daisy. Just a little dollop of daisy. Mmm. Mm. Melts in your mouth. Got bowl on being fried over the campfire. Eating tuna raw. Eating like kings right now. Fresh bowl, uh, courtesy of Adam today. Caught at the end of the morning, served up for lunch. Fresh brown Almaco Jack, bowl. Man, that's good. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Mm. Super good. This is a perfect little bowl of fingers for lunch. Mm -hmm. So hot, so good. Not worth waiting. Let's take the burns. About to head out for a little afternoon session. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's rooster time. Rooster time. Rooster media. Rooster media. Let's see if we can get into after in the afternoon bite. This place is, this place is sweet. It is super sweet. Super sweet. Fish on in the jig. <laughs> I thought it was something smaller, but it's not. Dropped the jig like three times. Old Pio slipped up too. Tons of fun. I was hoping for a ball out, but nice jacker ball in the jig. That's a big one. Pio's got, looks like same thing, doubled up. Another one. Whew. Nice little action with the jigs, a little double up on Jack or Vols. I think that was third drop with the jig. I brought no GoPros, I, I screwed up. I got half a battery in this one. I'm not gonna be able to show you everything that how it goes down this afternoon, but I'll bring you guys along while I can. John here's got a yellowfin next to the kayak. You can grab him by the tail if you want. 
Yeah, I'd put that guy alive, dude. We're telling him to put out this elephant live. We got plenty for meat. Oh! Yeah. On the popper! <laughs> Woo! Let's do the popper one time. Got a yellow fin on. <laughs> First drop with the popper. Another yellow fin. Now Pio's on. <laughs> Fun little afternoon session right here. Look at that. Well, we really don't need more tuna, but uh, this one died. The, one of the troubles on the popper got hooked in his gills. <laughs> Pio's got one on right now. The tuna are in thick right now. Now it's no 60 pounder, but still a blast on the popper on the light spinning setup. Bleeding him out now. We should be able to keep this guy fresh, take it back to the lodge with us. We'll have dinner for tomorrow. I've thrown the popper one time, cut a tuna. Dropped the jig three times, got a jack. Just dropped the jig one more time, and I got, I think, another tuna. Look at this, peel set up in the background. Ay, mira ahí parar. Yeah. Look. <laughs> tuna on the jig, however you want to catch them right now. <laughs> They're hitting it. We got plenty of tuna right now, so this guy's going back. Shoo. We're still trying to find bait for these guys. See if we can't get them on a big cubero or a rooster or something uh, here this afternoon. But man, to come out here, a quick little ride out from camp. Just hammer the fish, just casually. I mean, I brought one GoPro with half a dead battery and my nice camera in case they hook a marlin or something. But yeah casual as it gets and I'm, I'm out of breath from fighting these fish for the last 20 minutes just boom 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 one after another <sighs> this place is so rad you okay <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's a little bit of 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 that is for sure. We're gonna get back over closer to the clients. Oh. Got him Peels on again. We literally have five minutes before we gotta go pick up the kayakers and Pio said, you wanna go drop the jigs a couple more times? One drop, he's on. En serio. Amigo. Como es posible? It's an Almaco jack. Amigo. You guys, Pio just said, I want an Almaco Jack. Let's run over here, drop the jigs a couple times. He drops it one time, hooks a fish. We're both like, ah, oh, it's gotta be a tuna, a bunch of tunas. And look, it's a damn Almaco Jack. Magico de Pio, mira. Wow. No freaking way. All right, time to go pick these guys up, head back to camp, get to working on dinner. Zon's hooked up big. Right before we gotta go back to camp. Hooked up on live bait. <laughs> big fish. We're in about 50 feet here. It could be a rooster, it could be a cubera, whatever it is, it's big. 
Looks like it's hooked up good too. Looks like something pretty big. Algo grande, mira. This guy is hoping for his rooster, looking for his first rooster. Gosh, I hope this is it. He's got something on a blue runner on a live bait. Could very well be his rooster here at the end of the day. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Oh, oh it's tugging. It's pulling hard. It's something good. Oh, oh baby. Oh, sick. Trying to pull him into the rocks over here. And it is pulling him fast. <laughs> what a beautiful, beautiful time of day. The thing is getting ready to pick us up. And we got him on, got him on. You think he's pretty close or is he close to the bottom? Honestly, I think he's coming up. Honestly coming up, okay, okay. That's a monster. Look at that. All right, he's gotta be getting tired. He's coming up. Coming up, coming up. That fury winching him in. You see him? No. Don't see him yet, no color yet. Still going on the ride. Here comes John. You got rolled? <laughs> John just said he got rolled over. Probably brought by a Kuber. He was dropping a yellowfin tuna down. All right, he's coming up. He's coming up. He's close. He's close. He's close. We'll have color here in a second. Watch out. My rudder's not down. My rudder's Oh, I see it. my rudder. Oh! I got rolled. By a Kubera or what? No, by a rock. Oh! I lost him. I got everything back on my radio. Oh! And I broke my rudder. Yikes. Did I come back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he ain't done yet. Look at that. The Panamanian Navy out of here. That's a beautiful sight. Man, this is a fight and a half. <laughs> Sun is down. We are about out of light. We're gonna be landing in the beach in the dark, but Zanante's, this is his second trip here, and he's still hoping for his first rooster, so we will sit here until he gets this fish in. We're hoping that's what it is. There's your swivel. What do we got? Not sure. Make sure one foot forward. Okay, you're good, you're good. He'll break the surface in a second. <laughs> you can't see, you can't see down in the water. There's no sunlight. <laughs> the way it's fighting, the way it's pulling, I'd, I would put my money on rooster. This might be the fish he's been waiting for for basically three years now since his first trip here. Looks over to me. That's a rooster. <laughs> Is that it? Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Be careful with him. Be careful with him. He's hooked, yeah. he's hooked well, he's hooked well. Grab that gill plate, grab the, the gill plate. This he's been waiting for. Get it in the boat. There you go, grab hard, bring him in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah buddy. Oh yeah, yeah. Baby. There it is in <laughs> overtime, dude. Yeah. Look yeah. at it's that. It's fucking overtime, baby. How's that over feel, buddy? Over. Three oh, years in the making. Overdue. Long overdue, man. Long overdue, wow. and there it is, Anante. What a stud, too. Here from oh, Florida with a nice rooster. It only came, took three years. Came here three years ago with 12, there were 12 clients on that trip. 11 of them got roosters. Zahn just dealt, dealt the bad hand. And there what it is, came back, too. and there it is on his lap. Look hey, John, that. you gotta get in there, too. Here comes Incredible, John. Incredible, dude. John uh, rolled the kayak a little, close, a little too close to the shoreline, broke his rudder. <laughs> wow, look at that, look at that hook set right there, right in the corner, just where it's supposed to be. Can we keep him? <laughs> can we keep him, can we keep him as a pet? If it, if, it, if it lives, it dies. <laughs> His buddy John Ferris here, these guys are best friends. 
John got his personal best rooster already, and now here he is with his best friend here and his first rooster fish. So sick. Incredible. Doesn't get any more last minute than that, buddy. Clutch city. What a trip. Let's get that fish back in. We'll revive her, and we gotta get back. We are out of light. Yep, you're good to go. If you if you just jump him over the side on my side and just pull like hold uh hold his mouth with one thumb and then pedal him around so he gets some water through his gills. There you go, there you go, money. And if you can keep his mouth open while you pedal, yeah, it gets maximum water flow. Zahn is reviving this fish of a lifetime that he just caught in overtime. Look at this, guys. It is the end of the day. I know Zahn was giving up hope, feeling like uh, he just wasn't going to get it done. We've still got tomorrow, but man, that fish has been a long time coming. Incredible. <laughs> so sick. What a freaking trip. Oh. I think he went. That's all he needed. There he is. Bye. Bye. All right, let's go home. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Mission accomplished today. First blue runner caught today. Turns into a rooster fish. All right, now we got to load up. Got to make it back to camp, uh, hopefully with a little bit of sunlight left. <laughs> But the pressure's off, everybody's got a rooster. So sick, dude. Sin tu cadera, no puedo cantar. Sin tu cadera, no puedo gozar. Sin tu cadera, sin movimiento, mi ritmo y música va a parar. Sin tu cadera, mi melodía no va a dejar. Para gallo. Para gallo. Okay, listo. Vamos. Hey, vamos. Tiempo, tiempo. Loco. You hit, you hit on, the, on the last minute of the 15 minutes? You might have hit on the exact last minute of the 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were going in. You gotta take another one for the video. <laughs> My employer's gonna be pissed. All right, oh, I'll do it. Celebratory fireball shots. Celebrating the roosters. Everyone on the trip got one. Oh, Adam's down. He's about to go play a fish. Got the bait. Yeah, dude, that's true. If it was a world record, you get guide credit. All to our <laughs> oh, that's good. Could you open it for me? I know that's. Do you want me to pour it in your mouth? Well, dude, I can't do it all, man. Everyone, I can't do it all. Man. <laughs> They're making fun of me. Play Steven. I don't know what I'm celebrating. I didn't do anything. <laughs> that's too bright. Got some good video and some good pictures. I'm just mooching off y'all's <laughs> celebration. <laughs> got Derek's fresh Corvina. So while we were out there getting getting Zahn his rooster, Derek was here just off the beach catching some Corvina. He got four of them. <laughs> Pio here is cleaning his own ball, huh? Professional now. No es tu primera vez, huh? Not even a fly knife. Wow. I was griping about that knife. My excuse feels pretty weak now. Yeah, it's like about perfect. About as good as you can get there. Got me. Some, a little of that green salsa. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid ass. Wasabi? <laughs> Wasabi? <laughs> Wasabi. <laughs> Got the whole hog leg roasting over the fire. Look at this. We trapped it ourselves. We got coconut rice going down with the whole hog leg. Bars. And like in the bush. And like, <laughs> <laughs> Coconut rice. Man, it's gonna go perfect with this fish. And with the hog, I feel like. Yeah, oh, it's gonna be so good. Mira, got some Corvina. 
fried up. We got some kind of chickpea dish. Who doesn't love chickpeas, you know what I'm saying? We got pork in the cast iron. We got Almaco Jack Boila that hasn't even been finished filleted yet. It's about to go down. Oh, we got ceviche. Amigo. I just stayed back to give you guys a treat. When did you make this? Um, I caught it like uh, today. Is that the gourmet? Yep. Amigo. <laughs> Mucha gracias. Amigo. <laughs> Hell yeah. Man. What a good trip, dude. Mucho comida. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ahora sí. <laughs> Ahora sí. Mira. Look at this buffet. Right? We got the pork, coconut rice. Look at all this. We got a feast. You boys hungry? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Dakota, for all your hard work. For sure. Thanks, Adam, the master baiter. Let's feast the master baiter. <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, jump on, I guess. There's more fish, so don't be shy. Yeah, a lot more fish coming. We ain't gonna run out of food. A lot more fish coming. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. That's a camping meal right there, boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So pretty. So pretty. <laughs> That's me. Coda hooked it up. Mm hmm. That rice is good. Yep. Rice is good. <laughs> rice is good. I knew the rice was gonna be it. <laughs> Oh, big boy, hala. Dakota's a master chef, that's all I have to say. Mm. Mm. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> what a feat. Man, full service. I'm gonna use my fingers for the pork. Oh, yeah, amigo. Hay una lina. Ceviche. Camping meal, are you kidding me? I don't eat this good at home. The rest, like, <laughs> I can do that. Is it, is it jet black or can you No, I can see you very well. Oh. Hey, welcome back to Field Trips. <laughs> <laughs> Ceviche from Corvina that was swimming, what, an hour ago? Uh, Maybe less? Phenomenal, man. Down the hatch. You don't have to say that every time you take a bite. Yeah, but I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Fair, fair enough. Almaco Jack, you don't eat them in Florida, you do eat them here, they're delicious, like grouper. So tender, so moist. Cooked in the cast iron over to the fire. We're just kinda having the whole experience here. Catching fish, bringing them in, filleting them, and eating them immediately. Can't beat it. We got pork that we brought with us. We did not hunt any animals here, I'm supposed to give that disclaimer. Coconut rice. Dude, what's in that rice? <laughs> oh, good. Oh, amigo, salud. Fresh Panamanian coconut. Easily the best camping meal I've ever had. And I've had some good ones, man. I've had steaks and stuff. But to have fish this fresh and the sides be this good, you can't beat this, you guys. L I V I N. Spell, spells living. <laughs> I was just I making sure. thinking real hard. <laughs> Well, that's not a word, so... Let's, I mean... <laughs> let's not... Sort of let's a word. Not, what is it called? Split hairs. Split hairs. I almost said, let's not cut straws. <laughs> what? Whatever we're splitting. It's phenomenal. Thanks, Dakota. Seriously, man. Perfect meal after a long day. Are we going to watch you eat this whole entire plate? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should use both hands because you're going to get tired if you just do the one. <laughs> uh, hard to find good help out here in the jungle, man. This cameraman sucks. Get out of here. God. I've been filming your ass for five years. I asked you to film me for five seconds and you're griping, man. Guys, we just saw chupacabras. <laughs> what is it? Sora. Sora. Sora Castillo. Sora Castilla. You guys, we don't know. This is some kind of possum, squirrel, lemur. Para comer or no? Para comer. Is it good to eat? Get the gaff. Doesn't look like it'd be good to eat. It looks like it'd be a good pet. Look at that thing. It said it's good grill. That is so cool. What is this thing? I mean, this is right above Theo's hammock. <laughs> He was just laying here in the hammock oh, and saw this. Oh. Yeah, he's a possum, some yeah, type of possum. possum. Little rat tail. 
Wow. The old jungle possum. Something white just hit my face. Did he just pee on us? He's got a... All right, guys, so we got a full moon tonight. No reason for a headlamp. You can see everything perfect. So cool, everything's lit up. Sitting by the fire, listening to the beach in front of us and the jungle behind us, we reminisce on everything that's taken place on the trip so far. And while opinions differ on what has been the best part, we can all easily agree on one thing. This is a camping trip that we will never forget. Tomorrow afternoon, we head home, but we still plan to do plenty of fishing and exploring before the pangas arrive to pick us up. Los Buzos has an extremely limited number of spots available for these remote camping and fishing trips for 2022, and half of them are already gone. Email info at losbuzos.com today to learn how you can join us on the trip of a lifetime.